Brave Boldly. Written and published by N. Gaslife. Greatness. It's something that everyone aims for in one way or another. We aspire to accomplish remarkable feats, leave a significant impression, and earn immense affection. However, greatness is not achieved through random or accidental means. Achieving true greatness necessitates purpose, hard work, bravery, and perseverance. This book will guide you on how to pursue your passion, overcome your fears, think big, and embrace new challenges. This book offers concise lessons and practical insights to help you break free from limitations and unlock your full potential. In this book, you'll find guidance on uncovering your genuine passion and purpose, which will help you pursue work that is truly meaningful to you. Discover the transformative strength of overcoming fear and the importance of embracing vulnerability as a path to courage and authenticity. You'll be encouraged to take risks, challenge beliefs, and envision a fulfilling life. Greatness is revealed when we have the courage to step into the arena, express ourselves, and believe in ourselves even when things are uncertain. Now is the moment to take a purposeful stride towards crafting a life that is uniquely yours. Unleash the power of your dreams and watch them soar. Lesson 1. Forget about your weaknesses. Maximize your strengths. It's common to have a greater awareness of our weaknesses and shortcomings rather than our strengths. On the other hand, focusing too much on what we don't have can drain our energy and prevent us from developing our talents, which studies have shown is the more effective way to achieve excellence. Successful people enhance their self-confidence and attain greatness by focusing on their unique strengths rather than fixating on their weaknesses. Take champion basketball players as an example. They focus on perfecting their best moves instead of trying to force skills that don't come naturally to them. Exceptional employees excel by focusing on activities that utilize their strengths and entrusting others with tasks that address their weaknesses. Stop doubting yourself and start by creating a list of your skills, hobbies, and achievements. What comes naturally to you? At what point do you find yourself losing track of time? What are some skills that people frequently commend you for? Utilize your understanding of your strengths to make informed choices about relationships, careers, and personal goals. Focus on honing your natural talents and skills while also addressing your weaknesses, rather than trying to completely eradicate them. By staying focused on your strengths, you can boost your self-assurance, productivity, and overall success. This approach helps to minimize any frustration that may arise from things that don't define you. To achieve greatness, it's important to focus on your strengths and let go of your weaknesses. Discovering work that truly ignites your passion is crucial for achieving both success and fulfillment. However, it's important to note that finding your passion may not always be a straightforward process. A lot of people find it challenging to identify their interests and talents or convert them into a practical career direction. It's all about asking yourself thoughtful questions to ignite self-discovery of what truly excites you. Begin by exploring the fundamental needs that motivate you, such as creativity, service, innovation, leadership, and so on. Choose topics and skills that you genuinely enjoy practicing. Take a moment to reflect on your personality, values, and vision in order to identify the environments and roles that will bring out the best in you. Evaluate your skills honestly to identify areas where you have valuable expertise Take a moment to envision how your passions will align with future trends. Additionally, it's important to delve deeper into your interests and understand the underlying reasons behind what brings you excitement. Seek input from reliable sources you trust through thoughtful questioning about motivation, talent, purpose, and vision. You can uncover the puzzle of passion and find work that truly resonates with you. Engaging in soul-searching can be a bit uncomfortable, but it ultimately leads to a clear understanding of what truly matters, enabling you to pursue success through meaningful work.
Amina's passion for drawing was evident from a young age. As she would spend countless hours filling notebooks with beautifully detailed sketches of animals and fairy tales. Nevertheless, Amina's confidence was shattered when her sixth grade art teacher gave her harsh feedback about her people drawings, pointing out their lack of accurate proportions. She gave up on drawing for enjoyment outside of art class assignments because she believed she lacked the talent to continue pursuing a hobby she considered average. Amina enrolled in painting electives during high school to satisfy her parents' support for her artistic abilities. She prioritized her studies, particularly excelling in business classes. After college, she secured a stable position in marketing for a successful technology company. Yet she couldn't shake the feeling that something was missing from her daily routine. While on vacation, Amina explored local art galleries and felt a wave of nostalgia as she admired the showcased paintings and sculptures. After more than ten years, she suddenly felt the desire to create visual art once more, driven solely by the need for self-expression and pure joy. However, old insecurities resurfaced regarding the perceived lack of innate talent to create artwork that meets the standards for public display. Amina's highest future self, her inner mentor, suddenly became clear in her mind. Don't dwell on the past and focus on moving forward, advised compassionate wisdom. Reconnect with what initially brought you joy and focus your energy there without getting caught up in striving for perfection. Passion is tainted by perfectionism. Focus on your strengths. By reframing her limiting beliefs, she discovered new possibilities for re-engaging with her creative outlet on her own terms. Amina shifted her focus towards embracing the free flow of imagination rather than being overly critical of her own attempts. Weekend hours were filled with vibrant painting. Amina felt a renewed sense of vitality as she delved back into the artistic process, experiencing a nourishment for her soul that had been absent for far too long. In just one year, she started sharing delightful character sketches on the Internet, which soon became a source of extra income as she received custom commission requests. Amina rediscovered a part of her identity that had been overshadowed by discouraging comparisons from the past. She realized that by acknowledging and embracing the unique talents within us, they can grow and expand in ways we may not initially expect. Understanding and embracing your natural strengths allows you to unleash your full potential and pursue your purpose with confidence. Lesson 2. Be audacious and make big transformations. When it comes to achieving success and finding fulfillment, we often lean towards being cautious and making small changes. Nevertheless, the most significant breakthroughs and advancements in life often stem from taking bold leaps of faith rather than sticking to the safe and familiar. Take, for instance, how innovative companies create brand new products instead of just improving existing ones. Social movements are most effective when they make bold and audacious demands rather than relying on gradual progress. On a personal level, we can achieve more growth by taking bold career leaps or making adventurous moves to new places, rather than just making small changes to our daily routines. Our dreams and goals are more likely to come true when we take bold risks and push ourselves beyond our comfort zone. Naturally, taking bold risks requires a certain level of courage, as they inherently come with increased risk and uncertainty. This is why many people tend to avoid making big, ambitious moves. Nevertheless, those who dare to embrace radical transformation have the greatest potential for making a significant difference, finding personal satisfaction, and leaving a lasting legacy. When thinking about your biggest dreams and goals, it's important to avoid being overly cautious and sticking to what's comfortable. Take bold steps by making brave and resolute choices. Tap into your creative potential and embrace your role as a catalyst for significant progress. Rather than settling for small advancements, take bold risks that have the potential to create significant changes in your life and the world. Innovation and progress thrive when we question conventional wisdom and push the boundaries of what we believe is achievable. 
When we think ahead instead of staying in the present, we imagine groundbreaking ideas instead of small adjustments. Expanding your perspective involves challenging conventional norms, safety measures, and practicality to uncover hidden opportunities. It involves letting go of labels, carefully questioning commonly accepted practices, and challenging our ingrained beliefs that limit our viewpoint. Innovative leaders have a tendency to question why not, rather than settle for limitations. Forward, thinking companies envision the future, a decade in advance, rather than solely focusing on enhancing existing patterns. We can use lateral thinking to overcome obstacles, set ambitious goals, and discover unique career paths that match our strengths. Instead of solely focusing on the current situation, it's important to question assumptions about the roles you should take on, the goals you can achieve, and the problems you can solve. Gain insights into the future by analyzing trends and predicting upcoming developments instead of solely relying on past information. Encourage an environment that fosters curiosity, speculation, and unconventional ideas. You may uncover hidden pathways that lead to personal fulfillment and success when you think beyond the limitations set by others. Discovering new ideas and breakthroughs often requires thinking outside the box and challenging conventional wisdom. Lesson three: Greatness doesn't happen by being comfortable. Expand your horizons. We all aspire to achieve great things and unlock our full potential. Yet true greatness is rarely discovered when we stay within our comfort zones. The real magic happens when we venture outside our comfort zone and embrace the unknown with courage. Think about how achieving athletic excellence necessitates undergoing intense training. Scientific breakthroughs emerge from a deep sense of curiosity and unwavering determination, even in the face of failed experiments. Artists infuse their creations with intense and genuine emotion. Building fulfilling connections with others requires being open and willing to take emotional risks. Career paths often take unexpected turns that challenge our determination. Embracing uncertainty is often necessary when it comes to the things that shape our identity and drive our purpose, such as our passions and the communities we hold dear. Instead of always sticking to what feels comfortable and familiar, challenge yourself by willingly stepping into unfamiliar territory, even if you don't feel fully equipped or ready. Embrace growth opportunities, even if you don't feel fully prepared. Allow your aspirations for a fulfilling life to propel you forward, even when setting goals may feel daunting. Feeling uncomfortable. Indicates that you're making progress towards greatness instead of staying stuck in your comfort zone. Embracing unexpected moments of awkwardness or anxiety can be transformative experiences that help you grow. Following the path of least resistance often fails to lead to extraordinary outcomes. As you strive for ambitious goals, remember that achieving greatness often requires embracing discomfort along the way. Lesson four. Obsession can help you fuel your efforts. When channeled in a positive way, obsession can be a powerful driving force that propels people towards achieving their ambitious goals. Instead of trying to find a middle ground, developing a healthy obsession allows for intense concentration and harnessing unlimited energy. Take elite athletes as an example. They prioritize nutrition and practice, staying focused on their championship dreams without getting sidetracked by obstacles. Startups that are at the forefront of innovation work tirelessly with a strong drive to revolutionize industries. Even the most talented artists can become completely absorbed in their creative process for hours on end. By directing your attention and energy towards your most important aspirations. You can overcome obstacles and bring your dreams to life. It's all about finding a balance between being focused and taking time to recharge, channeling your energy towards meaningful goals in a responsible way. Create personal routines that foster a healthy fixation either in the morning or at night. 
Make sure to prioritize essential activities such as maintaining a balanced diet and getting sufficient rest to optimize your ability to fully immerse yourself in your work during designated periods. By embracing the power of focused energy, you can achieve progress and results while maintaining balance and inner peace. Encourage yourself to think on a grand scale, dare to dream without limits, and channel unwavering determination towards those ambitious goals. With a strong drive and unwavering focus, you can achieve any goal you set your mind to. Embracing fear is a natural part of pursuing ambitious goals, as it often indicates that you're on the verge of making significant breakthroughs. Instead of allowing anxiety and self-doubt to hinder you, view fear as a chance for growth and development if you bravely embrace it. Initial steps can often feel intimidating when you have a big vision. However, there are great opportunities waiting for you beyond your fears, such as discovering hidden talents, building meaningful relationships, and developing greater resilience. Research has demonstrated that fear can actually enhance our abilities by creating new neural pathways that strengthen our courage. Athletes conquer their performance fears to discover a newfound sense of confidence in crucial moments. Entrepreneurs can achieve exponential growth for their startups by embracing calculated risks. Artists produce their most exceptional pieces by exposing personal truths that leave them open and vulnerable. Is there a dream that you've been putting off because you're afraid of it? Identify the potential worst-case situation. Create backup plans and proceed confidently despite any obstacles. Embrace preparation with a fearless spirit and pursue your goals with unwavering optimism. Through regular practice, fear can be overcome, leading to states of peak performance. Mastering the art of acting in the face of anxiety empowers you to consistently achieve success. Every brave step into the unknown strengthens one's confidence to reach greater heights. Before long, fears become the driving force behind your progress and success. Aaron found it challenging to juggle his full-time job with building his side business designing mobile apps during evenings and weekends. He enjoyed turning his own app ideas into reality and aspired to eventually focus on running his startup full-time. However, with a limited amount of time each day, he consistently felt overwhelmed and exhausted from trying to juggle everything. Zoe, a fellow entrepreneur, observed that Aaron appeared fatigued and unfocused recently. Juggling multiple projects instead of being invigorated by his once thrilling app startup. She asked him direct questions to identify any obstacles that might be slowing progress. Aaron acknowledged that he didn't have effective strategies for handling multiple tasks at once. He understood that trying to succeed in both his job and his business was overwhelming. Zoe inquired about the possibility of prioritizing intense focus in shorter bursts, aligning them with periods of peak energy instead of striving for a perfect balance across different areas. She explained how dedicating short bursts of intense focus to his startup goals could yield faster progress than waiting indefinitely for more free time that may never come. Zoe recommended incorporating rituals into your routine to help you prioritize important startup tasks. These rituals can be done in the morning when your mind is most clear, or even during lunch breaks. Small daily progress adds up over time. She also suggested rituals that can help refresh your mind and maintain enthusiasm in the long run, instead of experiencing burnout. Aaron took Zoe's advice seriously and became highly focused on his work dedicating his days to it and spending his nights and weekends designing mobile apps. He dedicated his vacation days to coding marathons, driven by a strong desire to bring his vision to life. Aaron's app was launched and gained significant traction within a year. This success even led to an acquisition offer, allowing him to focus on running his business full-time. By mastering the art of channeling his passion in small, manageable bursts, he was able to make his dream a reality. Lesson 5. 
Work out your vision for life by starting broad, then zoning in over time. Having a clear vision for your life is crucial as it gives you direction, motivation, and purpose. Instead of diving into specifics right away, it's better to start with a broader approach. Start by clearly identifying your core desires and values without any restrictions. Picture yourself making a positive impact on the world by identifying the areas that truly inspire you. Imagine your perfect lifestyle filled with exciting adventures, quality time with loved ones, and breathtaking places that bring you joy. Describe the highest points of satisfaction you aim to reach in your relationships, learning, and accomplishments. Illustrate the broad scope of the significant influence you can have by pursuing specific careers or taking on unique roles within your community. Now that we have our principles and purposes in place, let's focus on the next step. Explore your personal talents and skills to help guide you toward specific industries or positions. Develop a strategic plan with milestones that span five years, driving progress while still prioritizing work-life balance. Explore specialized areas that align with your strengths. Find mentors who excel in the areas you want to succeed in. Unpack and address any fears that may be hindering your progress towards your ambitious goals. Mastering your direction requires a continuous balance between broadening your perspective and honing your focus as time goes on. However, failing to consider the bigger picture from the start can lead to pursuing goals that are not aligned, resulting in significant time and effort wasted. Begin by clearly defining your ultimate goals. The zoom lens allows you to easily bring vision components within practical reach, making it simple to capture expansive possibilities. Life's blueprint becomes clear through a straightforward and comprehensible iterative process. When you wholeheartedly commit to pursuing work that truly matters to you, there will always be people who criticize your efforts. Common, particularly when passion projects disrupt the established norms. Instead of allowing negative people to undermine your confidence or enthusiasm, let their negativity strengthen your conviction and motivate you to work even harder towards your vision and goals. Viewing haters as an indication that you're making progress in challenging ineffective systems or outdated mindsets that require innovation. It seems that their resistance is more driven by fear rather than facts. So it's important to stay focused on your purpose instead of reacting defensively. It's important to understand that as you make progress, you may face criticism and negativity from those who are not actively involved. The more successful you become, the more attention you attract, which can make you a target for unwarranted attacks and skepticism. Just let it bounce off you. Instead of being overly cautious to avoid upsetting others, remain committed to your own high standards and ideals. Passion that disrupts the status quo often unsettles those who prefer familiarity. It's important to listen to different perspectives and incorporate constructive criticism. However, don't let negative comments discourage you. Instead, use them as motivation to keep moving forward. Continue moving forward with confidence and determination, driven by the fire of your passion. As you soar higher, the haters become minuscule when seen in the rearview mirror. Lesson 6. You can work hard enough and long enough. When we're young, our most ambitious dreams may feel far away. If not out of reach, we often convince ourselves that there is a shortage of time to accomplish ambitious aspirations. Fortunately, with the rise in life expectancy, we now have more time than ever before to focus on reaching our full potential. After fulfilling our basic needs... Our choices regarding energy expenditure and time investment are greatly influenced by our perception and priorities. Even with other obligations, making progress on a dream by working part-time can lead to significant results over time. In reality, if we dedicate ourselves to what inspires us, we can all find the time to create meaningful work, develop exceptional skills, and make groundbreaking progress in our chosen fields throughout our lives. 
when we clearly define our dreams and consistently work towards them, we often discover that we have more capacity than we thought. Consistency is key when it comes to achieving remarkable results over time. Whether you dedicate an hour every morning or a few sessions per week, the impact can be truly remarkable. Dedication drives determination. Through concentrated effort and bursts of productivity, even the most ambitious dreams become increasingly attainable over time. Don't let age or time hold you back from reaching your full potential. You have plenty of time today to make significant progress towards your most ambitious goals. Maya had a sense that time was slipping away. By the age of 36, she came to the realization that her job as an accountant was incredibly dull and unfulfilling. Her true desire was to establish her own bakery that specialized in one of a kind gluten, free recipes. She has always had a passion for baking and has consistently received praise for her delicious creations at various gatherings. However, the thought of juggling her business, full-time job, and taking care of her young daughter as a single mom seemed incredibly challenging. Perhaps a decade ago, but not when she already felt overwhelmed, the dream appeared to necessitate a greater number of hours in the day than actually exist. Her best friend Kelly introduced her to a book that completely changed her perspective on the concept of time. The article discussed the tendency to underestimate available free time and overestimate the effort needed for entrepreneurial tasks. Maya discovered unexpected opportunities by tracking her time for only a week. Kelly also reminded Maya that making consistent progress towards her dream, no matter how small, would greatly increase her chances over time. She could dedicate one hour each weekday morning before work, and then potentially spend five hours each weekend initially. Consistently taking small actions over time could help Maya achieve her vision sooner than she expected. Maya started waking up 45 minutes earlier to focus on developing the bakery's branding, recipes, and initial website design. She managed to save money by using her accounting paychecks to cover contractor fees and designing logos through online contests. Maya successfully launched a local pickup and delivery bakery within just eight months, utilizing Instagram as a platform for advertising. She decided to leave her accounting job a year ahead of schedule. Because being her own boss allowed her to balance her responsibilities as a mother more effectively. Upon reflection, Maya came to the realization that her main obstacle was the mistaken belief that she lacked sufficient time. With a little dedication and perseverance, she was able to achieve her dreams sooner than she thought possible. Lesson seven: Don't gossip and use people's names when talking to them. Developing strong communication and relationship skills is crucial for achieving success in both professional and personal aspects of life. The journey towards improvement starts with adopting a few straightforward habits. It's important to avoid gossiping about others, even in casual conversations. Speaking negatively about someone behind their back can damage trust and waste valuable energy that could be used for more productive endeavors. Additionally. It can be helpful to mentally prepare for challenging conversations by taking the time to jot down important questions and talking points beforehand. When tense issues arise, listening more actively and avoiding defensive reactions can be achieved by brainstorming responses. Additionally, it's helpful to remember to use people's names when speaking with them, whether it's in a group setting or during one-on-one -one -one discussions. Using names creates a friendly atmosphere and aids in remembering important information during networking. Here are some additional suggestions: Make sure to listen attentively before giving a response. Try to find areas of agreement whenever you can, and maintain an open body language by avoiding crossed arms or looking at your phone. Effective communication necessitates self-discipline. Yet it ultimately benefits everyone involved by fostering deeper understanding and stronger connections over time. By implementing a few adjustments, such as refraining from gossip, adequately preparing for intricate interactions, and using people names, your communication abilities will improve gradually. This will lead to increased influence and personal fulfillment. 
Admitting mistakes and errors is seldom a pleasant experience at the time. Nevertheless, our reluctance to admit mistakes openly results in more pain than the mistake itself. Studies have shown that admitting our mistakes and acknowledging when we are wrong can help alleviate guilt and reduce the pressure of striving for perfection. This approach is more effective than constantly criticizing ourselves internally for our errors. Furthermore, people are more likely to forgive us quickly if we confess our mistakes promptly. Being hesitant to acknowledge mistakes can hinder the acquisition of valuable knowledge needed to prevent unnecessary failures from happening again. Transparency around errors and taking ownership without blame can greatly accelerate progress, as shown by organizational culture surveys. Mistakes that go unnoticed can have a significant impact on our energy and morale, far more than when we take responsibility with humility. Failures that have significant consequences for entire companies often stem from a lack of open and thorough examination of what went wrong. In a nutshell, acknowledging errors may be uncomfortable, but it paves the way forward. Concealment can cause anxiety, damage trust in relationships, and hinder progress by hiding the truth. Admitting our mistakes can be difficult, but it is an important step towards finding healing and gaining wisdom. It allows us to let go of hidden shame, disappointment, or regret. Next time you find yourself justifying self-criticism, blaming others, or trying to hide a mistake, keep this in mind. Admitting mistakes can be challenging, but avoiding them only makes things worse. Transparency of risk, taking ownership, and acquiring wisdom. Lesson 8. Develop a positive relationship with failure. Failure is bound to happen as you strive for success. So instead of trying to play it safe and avoid risks, it's important to embrace failure and learn from it. See setbacks as valuable learning opportunities that can help you grow, develop your character, and enhance your skills for future challenges. Think of failure as a way to learn and improve bringing you closer to your goal. Embrace small mistakes as signs that you're pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone, where growth and possibilities await. Create intentional small errors when introducing ideas to quickly overcome any discomfort and make imperfections seem normal. Whenever you experience setbacks and manage to bounce back, you develop a stronger ability to handle more challenging situations in the future. Failure can be a way to connect with others who are also facing challenges rather than feeling isolated by shame. Discuss both small mistakes and big blunders openly to diminish their control over you. Find humor in the mistakes and enjoy examining the insightful revelation. Failure is a common occurrence even for the most successful risk-takers. The main distinction lies in their inclination to find amusement rather than distress when things deviate from the expected course. They make adjustments with a positive attitude and continue with enthusiasm. When you embrace failure with curiosity instead of avoiding it, you discover the key to innovation, trying, learning from mistakes, and repeating until you succeed. Before long, failing forward faster becomes the new norm. We've all had moments when our intuition led us to make a decision that seemed illogical at the time, but turned out to be right in the end. Instinct and intuition are undeniably wise. Scientific research has shown that intuition is most effective when we are in positive emotional states and not experiencing acute stress. When we feel overwhelmed, fearful, or anxious, our gut reactions can become less reliable sometimes sending false signals. Our outdated risk detection systems become hyperactive, perceiving threats in every corner. Our fear-based instincts often lead us to stick with familiar habits, even if they are not effective. Excessive levels of cortisol and adrenaline can impair our ability to think clearly and make rational decisions. During moments of fight or flight reactivity, our ability to perceive nuance, show compassion, and maintain an open-minded perspective can be compromised. 
Alarm is often the response to sudden change rather than excitement about the potential for growth. Our impatience often leads us to take shortcuts instead of taking the time to fully understand complex situations. Excessive distress can hinder our ability to tap into the wisdom stored in our unconscious mind, even though positive stress can enhance our performance. Take a moment to pause the next time your intuition strongly advises against progress or meaningful change. Recentering your perspective distorted by stress can be achieved through strategic breathwork, physical movement, or connecting face. To face with trusted advisors, by remaining calm and giving yourself time, you can create room for logical thinking and wait for your instincts to guide you. By practicing to calm our inner turmoil, our intuitive compass becomes more stable, guiding us in the right direction, even when faced with external turbulence. Our gut is highly skilled at understanding the overall situation over time, rather than making quick decisions in moments of crisis. Adabaul was afraid of failing and tried to avoid taking risks that could result in errors or embarrassment. He opted for familiar activities that he knew he could excel at, rather than taking on new challenges that might expose any shortcomings. Adabaul's mindset restricted him from acquiring new skills beyond his familiar territory. He was hesitant to take risks and missed out on opportunities for personal growth. Nevertheless, by avoiding failure, he also missed out on valuable opportunities that could have propelled him towards his goals and revealed new possibilities. Adabaul discovered that by avoiding potential mistakes, he was also missing out on potential breakthroughs. Kanayo, an old friend, has decided to pursue music after years of feeling intimidated by the competitive industry. Adabaul wondered how Kanayo was able to overcome his fear of past failures. Kanayo shared, instead of avoiding auditions and expecting rejection, I began to see failures as valuable feedback that could help me improve my chances in the future. I find joy in acknowledging the courage it takes to simply show up. Every risk builds up your courage, making future opportunities seem less intimidating. I celebrate my failed attempts, knowing that I have gained valuable experience. Failure is an opportunity for growth. Encouraged by Kanayo's change in mindset, Adabawal adopted similar principles to overcome a long-standing limitation. He established small objectives to gradually confront minor setbacks, such as responding to criticism with composure and attempting new skills with a positive attitude. Adabawal directed his positive energy towards embracing life to the fullest, rather than being held back by potential negatives. Over time, failure shifted from being a paralyzing foe to a valuable teacher of resilience. Adabaul quickly embraced more demanding tasks, leading to unprecedented levels of professional growth and satisfaction. He realized that failure was often a sign that success was just around the corner. Lesson 9 Boredom activates imagination and fosters creativity in the brain. Our modern world is constantly bombarding us with digital distractions, all competing for our attention. Science has confirmed that boredom can actually boost creativity by stimulating the imagination in the brain. Innovation thrives when we take a break from constant external input. Neurons are able to freely fire and form new connections. Ideas form and flow into thoughtful contemplation. Idea sparks can appear unexpectedly when we allow our thoughts to roam freely, without a specific plan in mind. Throughout history, artists have often found inspiration in moments of boredom, which sparks their creative vision. Groundbreaking research and patents emerge when scientists free themselves from limitations, allowing for creative thinking. Many successful business ideas come to people when they take a moment to relax and daydream, rather than constantly pushing themselves towards their goals. Even lively discussions are invigorated when we all pause to let our imaginations run wild. That's why taking a break from devices or going for a relaxed walk can be really beneficial for boosting creativity. 
unforeseen solutions emerge when we step away from our daily obligations. When you start to feel bored or restless and find it difficult to stay still, try shifting your frustration towards curiosity. Explore how your imagination can fill the void. Avoid the temptation to immediately seek external entertainment. Instead, tap into the wellspring of creativity that can be found when you embrace moments of boredom. Imagine the incredible impact your unleashed imagination can have, with the potential to bring forth refreshing insights and influential innovations that can ripple powerfully outward on a global scale. Allowing our thoughts to drift is frequently perceived as unproductive or lacking concentration. Research has demonstrated that engaging in constructive and intentional daydreaming can enhance creativity, planning skills, and self-awareness. Creating intentional room for imagination and exploration paves the way for innovation. Begin by finding a comfortable position and closing your eyes. Imagine vibrant scenes that bring to life your deepest desires, whether they involve professional success, making a difference in the world. Or forming meaningful connections with others, imagine yourself achieving your personal goals, and then break it down into specific steps to make it a reality. Create a museum that showcases your most significant achievements in life and reflect on the journey that led you there. Imagine respected teachers encouraging you to reach your full potential. This immersive experience helps create neural pathways that lead to achieving your goals. Now let's move on to the practical aspects. Provide a clear plan of action, identify necessary resources, and identify potential allies to involve. Practicing positive visualization strengthens resolve, making it easier to transform aspirations into tangible achievements. Instead of dwelling on the past or being anxious about the future, focus your imagination on envisioning positive outcomes that can come from your actions. Always revisit your noble aspirations whenever you're lacking inspiration or feeling uncertain. By combining mindful presence with focused daydreams, creativity is unlocked and progress is sustained. Imagination's guidance helps navigate challenging stretches on the path towards realizing your potential. Lesson ten: Boundaries are all about kindness to yourself and others. Many people find it difficult to establish boundaries because they worry about appearing self-centered or unkind to others. However, setting compassionate boundaries is important for both our own well-being and allowing others to handle their own responsibilities. Kindness is found in giving space for friends to handle their emotions, allowing colleagues to carry out their tasks, and respecting the choices of our family members while we focus on our own. When we become too involved in areas outside of our expertise while trying to assist others, we inadvertently deprive them of the chance to tackle their own challenges. Overfunctioning can be overwhelming as it combines the responsibilities of multiple people. Releasing unrealistic responsibility for parts belonging to others is a more gentle approach. Certainly, effective communication, understanding, and attentive listening remain crucial in relationships. Even when healthier boundaries are established, by stepping back and refraining from excessive intervention, friends and colleagues are able to clarify their own priorities. Meanwhile, we ensure that we conserve the energy required to pursue our passions and fulfill our purpose. It's important to maintain integrity and prevent resentment by setting boundaries and saying no when our schedule or mental space becomes overwhelmed. Boundaries also protect us from harmful behaviors that may require a firm yet caring response. It's better for everyone involved to kindly decline, enabling dysfunction and prioritize self-care, rather than trying to be a hero and then feeling resentful. We can differentiate between the burdens that are ours to carry and those that we should distance ourselves from for our own well-being. By being mindful and self-aware, developing healthy boundaries in relationships and at work is a process that takes time. Rejecting unreasonable requests or disengaging from an imbalanced situation can be uncomfortable at first. 
Some people may initially resist when you try to set limits on availability, especially if they are used to their old habits with you. Developing the ability to express your needs or concerns is a skill that improves over time with consistent practice. Initially, you might feel uncertain or hesitant about when to voice your thoughts. However, every small step you take will bring you greater clarity and confidence in establishing the necessary boundaries for your well-being and personal growth. Reflecting on the past six months or a year can often show remarkable positive changes in both our thoughts and surroundings. Experience a decrease in stress, an increase in energy, the release of toxic relationships, and the discovery of true supporters. You can now effortlessly express what was once difficult to put into words when faced with a new challenge. Changing ingrained patterns requires dedication and patience. Although it may seem chaotic at times, setting and respecting personal boundaries can be incredibly fulfilling and have long-lasting benefits. Every meaningful conversation has the power to sow the seeds of integrity, fulfillment, and positive influence. The momentum of the traction increases with every iteration, so don't worry. While it may not always be a fast or effortless process, establishing boundaries is always worthwhile in the long run. Liang always found it challenging to balance his work projects with the constant requests from his friends. She longed for some respite and the opportunity to pursue her own projects, but felt compelled to never turn down requests for assistance in order to avoid letting people down. However, Liang's failure to establish limits on her time and energy had a negative impact on her stress levels and overall well-being. She became frustrated because she was constantly giving to others without taking care of herself. When Liang's mentor Ruth noticed her struggling. She offered some valuable advice. Taking care of yourself first enables you to give your best to others, showing genuine care. Ruth explained the importance of being fully present for each student due to the limits on counseling hours. Teachers were able to stay energized and inspired thanks to the generous vacation policies. Liang discovered a way to fulfill her obligations while still taking care of herself. Imagine an oxygen mask on airplanes. Prioritize your own well-being before helping others. At first, Liang found it difficult to communicate her actual availability without feeling guilty. However, she observed that responding defensively only further strained relationships. By expressing her need for personal space in a clear and straightforward manner, she was able to initiate meaningful conversations. Friends were able to grasp her intentions when she openly and bravely explained them with empathy. As Liang practiced asserting her boundaries in a clear and unwavering manner, something unexpected happened. Friends quickly embraced the change without any offense. They expressed relief that she might not hold any hidden grudges. Her newfound willingness to be open fostered stronger connections. Liang's clear intentions made those around her grateful that she was now open to receiving their care. By prioritizing her core values, she experienced positive and empowering changes. When you are firmly grounded from within, you radiate stability that benefits everyone around you. She nurtured the roots, and her world flourished. Lesson eleven. Doing things you're afraid of will make you a stronger person. We all have fears that prevent us from fully engaging in life, whether it's speaking up in meetings, taking creative risks, or being honest with our loved ones. Not addressing the instinct to avoid fear can have significant personal consequences throughout one's life. Confronting fears can actually help you become more emotionally resilient and open up new possibilities for personal growth. Scientists have discovered that neural pathways can actually become thicker as a result of consistently confronting anxiety. As nerve connections strengthen, new actions become less intimidating and more manageable. Confronting our fears helps us build self-confidence by learning that we are capable of more than we think. Whenever you take bold steps, even when you're afraid and things turn out fine. It proves that you have the ability to handle difficult situations or unknowns. 
fears become smaller when they are faced honestly and practiced consistently. Additionally, when we open up and express our true emotions to trusted people, we can move away from feeling alone and find support within a community. Engaging in fears, even when it's uncomfortable, can help us build confidence and prepare us for more challenging situations. Avoiding fears may provide temporary relief, but in the long run, it can diminish our vitality, limit our experiences, and hinder our aspirations and hinder our aspirations. However, every day we have the choice, either to avoid immediate discomfort or to build our resilience by confronting the fears that currently intimidate us the most. Life can sometimes present us with challenging decisions, especially when we don't have all the information about what might happen in the future. Insufficient information can cause anxiety and hinder progress. Nevertheless, when confronted with ambiguous choices, it is best to make a well-informed decision and firmly stick to it until more information becomes available. Acquire valuable insights by conducting thorough research, analyzing past trends, and seeking advice from knowledgeable sources to make informed decisions. Ensure that logic and intuition are aligned by combining rational analysis with emotional clarity. Identify areas where there are still uncertainties and rely on your personal values to determine your next actions instead of waiting indefinitely. Stay committed to your path by taking focused action every day, without any hesitation or doubt. Monitor results and make adjustments only when new contradictory information arises, rather than solely based on increased doubt or a preference for easier options. Having faith in your initial judgment helps you stay composed in the face of uncertainty. By standing firmly, you can gain a clearer perspective on future decisions as uncertainties gradually fade away. Through practice, one can develop the ability to confidently adapt to life's ever-changing circumstances, easing anxiety and embracing uncertainty. You enhance your capacity to adapt smoothly when necessary or persevere resolutely through difficulties, if the situation validates your initial decision as wise. Our highest truth may not always be crystal clear, but it reveals itself when we embrace life's twists and turns. Lesson 12. Asking for help is not a sign of weakness. It's what smart and courageous people do. We've all heard the saying, ask and you will receive. However, many times we hesitate to ask for help due to our pride or the fear of seeming vulnerable. Nevertheless, even the most intelligent and accomplished people recognize that seeking assistance when necessary is a testament to their wisdom and resilience. Getting advice from others can provide different perspectives, which can help uncover solutions that may not have been apparent before. Working together allows for more efficient completion of large tasks. Even the most self-reliant people seek guidance from mentors to learn new skills more effectively, rather than trying to figure everything out on their own. Encouraging friends to hold you accountable can help you stay committed to your goals. Opening up about our struggles helps us form stronger bonds and reinvigorates us. Persevering through solo endeavors demonstrates determination, but disregarding support can hinder progress by depleting one's resources. Effective leaders understand that no individual can be exceptional in every aspect. By combining different talents, they can leverage their strengths. Effectively assigning tasks to those with less expertise and concentrating on your own strengths benefits everyone. When we recognize that time is incredibly valuable, it becomes clear that outsourcing tasks to experts allows us to focus on what we do best. Next time you find yourself overwhelmed with work or feeling like you can't meet expectations, take a moment to identify where you could use some help. Even the most intelligent and accomplished people are not afraid to seek assistance when needed. We all have an innate longing to fit in and be embraced by others. We often find ourselves bending over backwards in an attempt to gain approval or appreciation from various groups and people. Nevertheless, the constant effort to conform to rigid expectations in order to appear deserving of love or respect, ultimately, leads to negative consequences. 
Studies have shown that denying core aspects of one's identity can lead to heightened feelings of anxiety, depression, and fatigue due to living inauthentically. Many people choose to conceal the truth in order to avoid being rejected, only to experience a decrease in their self esteem when they see their compromised reflection in the mirror and struggle to recognize themselves. When you let go of the need to conform, you create room to fully embrace your true self. By letting go of the need for validation, you can tune into the authentic rhythm of your own heartbeat. Every aspect of your individuality, from your quirks and talents to your values and dreams, come together like interlocking pieces of a captivating puzzle. By embracing your unique nature, you inspire those around you to live with greater courage. Your straightforward example becomes infectious. Promoting authenticity. Before long, you'll start attracting relationships that are built on love and respect rather than just performance. You no longer stretch yourself thin, trying to cater to everyone's needs. Instead, you focus on nurturing your unique talents and abilities. Embracing your authentic self brings a sense of ease and contentment that is unparalleled. Embracing our true selves, our passions, and our purpose takes bravery to break free from societal expectations and norms. However, we all desire connections that make us feel seen, accepted, and valued for who we truly are. Having the confidence to live authentically comes from nurturing two important trusts. Having faith in our inner wisdom to guide our life choices and trusting that the right people will accept us for who we truly are. By honoring our internal callings, such as pursuing goals that align with our core priorities or speaking honestly in important relationships, we gradually build our self trust. This process involves consistently matching our actions with our words. Every little action of living authentically reinforces the understanding and respect for one's own values. At the same time, when we receive positive feedback from the people who are important to us, It helps us feel more confident in sharing our vulnerabilities. This can bring us closer to like minded people instead of pushing them away. We start to rely on the clear understanding and profound love within our cherished community. These foundations work together to help us confidently define our identity unaffected by outside influences. Being supported by our loved ones and having a strong internal foundation gives us the strength to confront life's obstacles. While remaining authentic to ourselves, our roots grow even deeper as we reflect on the affirmation. After Johann's wife unexpectedly departed, he was left devastated. However, he remained determined to overcome his heartbreak on his own. Johann, as the only provider for his two young daughters, was hesitant to seek support because he valued his independence and self reliance. He immersed himself in work and whiskey. Struggling to maintain a facade of normalcy at home. After months of pushing himself to the limit, Johann was on the brink of exhaustion. He realized that in order to be a good parent and pursue his career goals, he needed to confront the inner turmoil that was still consuming him. Reluctantly, Johann attended a support group for divorced men at the insistence of his cousin Andre. Despite initially being cautious about sharing personal stories with unfamiliar people, Johann found that open and honest conversations gradually helped him feel less alone. The men discussed how to dress wounds with similar injuries. He discovered that seeking assistance can actually strengthen the heart instead of weakening it. Seeking support from his mother and sister, Johann enlisted their help in taking care of his children as he focused on his counseling and self care routines. Receiving care is no longer hindered by pride, only perpetuating cycles of isolation. He demonstrated emotional courage to his daughters by accurately labeling his emotions, using poetry to navigate grief, and embracing hugs during times of sadness. The release was rolled out gradually, in a step by step manner. Johann realized that by refusing to acknowledge his struggles, he was only sinking deeper into despair. Sharing genuine humanity lifted his family through difficult times they would not have been able to overcome alone. He experienced loss by standing together, 
not by remaining strong in silence. Seeking assistance demonstrated the strength and wisdom of people, regardless of societal influences. Johann's belief in the collective strength of his village allowed for the sharing of burdens and the opportunity for everyone to contribute. His daughters quickly grasped the concept of persevering through challenges, even when it's tough, with the support of others. Lesson 13. To be brave implies stepping forward in the face of danger instead of stepping back. When we think of bravery, we often imagine acts of heroism and impressive displays of physical strength. Everyday life presents numerous opportunities to develop courage by confronting emotional risks, expressing an unpopular opinion, embracing happiness despite past pain, and pursuing a long-forgotten dream. Bravery is demonstrated through taking action, not just when fear is absent, but because of fear. It involves embracing the challenging anxiety instead of seeking comfort in avoidance. Bravery dares where we hesitate. When we feel hopeless, courage gives us hope. Valor is ignited in the darkness. We are naturally inclined to move away from situations that cause us discomfort or uncertainty. Resisting that magnetic impulse requires a strong will and inner strength. When we don't let life's challenges discourage us, we gain the ability to overcome self-doubt. Small, consistent actions, taken despite uncertainty towards our deepest desires, build up over time and create an unstoppable force that even daunting challenges cannot stop. In this hero's journey, we let go of the habit of underestimating ourselves to become greater than the beliefs that once held us back. What initially appeared far-fetched or improbable is now easily attainable. It all comes down to whether you will adapt or overcome the challenges that this moment presents. Real courage involves moving forward with confidence instead of retreating in fear. Which direction will you choose? Many people experience fear and anxiety when they don't have clear information about potential threats or uncertain situations. When uncertain possibilities arise, our instincts tend to imagine the worst outcomes. Brains are often filled with assumptions that can be disconnected from reality. Clearly defining the specifics of a stressor helps to prevent imagination from blowing things out of proportion. Facts provide a solid foundation. We focus on examining details, identifying root causes, and considering logical probabilities, which helps us stay grounded in reason rather than reacting emotionally. Having a clear plan for dealing with unexpected challenges instills a sense of confidence in being able to handle whatever comes your way. Journaling helps to clear the mind and analyze the irrationalities of fear in a straightforward manner. Discussing situations openly with trusted friends can help to diminish any fears or concerns, making them more manageable. Asking thoughtful questions and examining assumptions can help prevent panic. Take deep breaths, get enough sleep, and eat nutritious meals to maintain a calm, focused, and aware mind. It's important to take threats seriously, but it's also important not to blow them out of proportion. If you want to avoid confusion and effectively handle difficult situations, it's important to approach them with rational analysis, contingency preparation, and clear communication. These strategies can help you overcome any challenges that come your way. Being prepared is advantageous. Confront the unfamiliar with logic and evidence to prevent fear from taking hold. Keep your focus and remain calm. We need to shed light on the obscure sources of fear by using rationality and specificity in order to diminish their influence on us. Lesson 14. Courage is a virtue gained from repeated small acts of bravery. Memorable acts of bravery that leave a lasting impact. A powerful speech by a leader. A defining protest by an activist. Captivate our minds. Nevertheless, the foundation of these bold stands for justice or progress lies in a series of smaller acts of bravery that have become habitual. The journey of living courageously can sometimes be hindered by self-doubt, uncertainty, or fears of failure. Engaging in small acts of courage in our everyday lives, such as speaking our minds even when it's uncomfortable, 
taking small steps towards our dreams and facing difficult tasks head on can gradually transform our energy and neurobiology and neurobiology just like a muscle that gets stronger with practice courage grows when we face our fears and do things that intimidate us making courageous decisions instead of always playing it safe helps build a strong sense of self-assurance and moral leadership taking a stand against forces that try to silence us overwhelm us or undermine our self-worth adds courage to our character we are driven by a strong sense of determination which illuminates our path and shapes our growth over time through embracing stillness we can truly grasp the strength of gentleness we maintain a calm presence amidst the chaos of the storm when we push beyond our comfort zones we open ourselves up to new possibilities and realize that what once seemed impossible is now within our grasp thus the path of courage transforms malleable clay into strong steel ready to be wielded with love and steadfastness when destiny calls for greatness when people think of creativity they often imagine artistic abilities such as musical talent or painting skills However, having a narrow definition of creativity can prevent us from fully understanding its transformative potential that is available to everyone. Creativity involves approaching problems with a flexible and open-minded mindset, making connections between different ideas, and maintaining a curious attitude to question assumed limitations. Science has revealed that developing a creative mindset relies more on adopting habits of mindfulness, embracing playfulness, and practicing non-judgmental ideation without censoring initial brainstorms. Techniques such as mind mapping, free writing, and divergent thinking are essential for fostering creative innovation. Operating from this expanded paradigm opens up boundless possibilities for creativity. It can be applied to relationships, communication, organizational flow, tactical plans, and big picture visioning. If you're currently feeling creatively blocked, try challenging the assumptions that are limiting your perspectives. Explore unconventional ideas without being too critical of yourself. Discover unexpected connections that inspire new perspectives or make time for unstructured play when you're not busy with obligations. Bella has always had great admiration for people who fearlessly advocate for important causes. Despite her deep concern for animal welfare, she often felt too shy and risk averse to advocate boldly. Bella believed that courage was often expressed through grand speeches or powerful demonstrations, advocating for justice against oppressive systems. Her neighbor Zahra, on the other hand, exemplified a sense of calm and resilience as the founder of a local wildlife rehabilitation center she dedicated herself to rescuing injured squirrels to hawks zara consistently appeared to provide tender care for small animals without any fuss or grand gestures zara explained that courage is not limited to grand gestures that attract attention instead It is often needed in the quiet unnoticed acts of saving lives that come our way. Drawn by Zahara's selfless dedication, Bella decided to offer her assistance at the rehabilitation center, tending to injured paws and patiently releasing rehabilitated birds of prey back into the wild. Her heart was stirred by the deep connection she formed with animals through hands. On devotion Bella honed her ability to express her views on wildlife conservation in intimidating city council meetings. She shared her stories and facts in a gentle and considerate manner, making them easy to understand. Surprisingly, a number of officials actively embraced and worked together on her ideas. With the passage of time, Bella's natural sensitivity evolved from being critical of herself for feeling inadequate to becoming her unique ability to connect with others on a deep level and amplify the voices of the marginalized. She developed a strong ability to connect with all living beings by consistently nurturing her courage rather than relying on sudden acts of heroism. She discovered the profound impact of heroism She discovered the profound impact of everyday acts of kindness which may not make the news but have a lasting effect. Lesson 15. 
Courage and vulnerability always go together. It may appear that courage and vulnerability are at odds with each other, one confronting fear while the other reveals it. However, upon closer examination, it becomes clear that they are closely connected. To face a challenge, head on. It's important to acknowledge any doubts or insecurities we may have and openly communicate our needs for support. When we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, we not only open ourselves up to emotional risk, but also create an opportunity for trust to strengthen our relationships. Talking about sensitive truths that we've been avoiding helps us live authentically without being held back by secrecy or shame. Having the courage to stand up for our convictions, even when our unpopular positions may cost us social credibility, requires a willingness to be seen as a minority viewpoint. When it comes to having difficult conversations in personal relationships or driving change in institutions, it takes courage to be authentically vulnerable and stand up for what truly matters. In order for conditions to improve and worlds to expand, it is important to open our hearts, recognize pain points, envision future possibilities, and articulate where more integrity is needed. Vulnerability can actually enhance courage, allowing it to grow stronger. The answering courage ensures vulnerability is uplifted instead of being crushed. Whenever we have the courage to express ourselves honestly, embrace our challenges or take the lead by showing our true selves, we are met with courage because vulnerability always precedes it. Everything transforms once we fully embrace it. Our strong connection conveys a sense of certainty. Embracing vulnerability leads to personal growth and resilience. Embracing both fully again and again is what courage entails. Final lesson. Brave boldly. We have learned the mindsets, habits, and practices that enable regular people to attain remarkable success on their own terms. It all starts with gaining clarity on what truly inspires and motivates you. Your deepest passions and life purpose. When you have a clear understanding of your beliefs, you become unstoppable by staying determined in your pursuit. Challenges that once held you back can now be seen as opportunities to propel you forward. Uncertainty has the potential to transform into a sense of excited curiosity. Unrecognized weaknesses have the potential to become hidden strengths. Take a moment to revisit your notes on these pages. Identify one or two ideas that deeply resonated with you. Embrace the opportunity to implement them this week, starting with small yet courageous steps. Develop a steady rhythm by taking consistent actions before fully committing. However, if greatness is calling, you must fully immerse yourself. You are currently at a crossroads where you have the option to embark on exciting new ventures or stick to what you already know. What method will you use to enter it tomorrow? Understand that those who are willing to step into new and unfamiliar territory with unwavering dedication are the ones who will find greatness. You are the ones who will find greatness. You are the only variable here and you are more prepared than you may think. Take a leap of faith. Have courage. Embrace your true potential and rise above average to fulfill your greatest purpose. What you have to offer is eagerly anticipated by the world. Strive to achieve the greatness you were meant to bring into the world. It's time to stop making excuses, stop procrastinating, and stop limiting ourselves. You have the potential for greatness. You have the power to shape greatness. Let's get started right away and never turn back.